Hey guys, Finlux here, back with our blind playthrough of Subnautica Below Zero. I don't actually remember what we did last time, it has been a minute. Oh, that's right, we went to the front part of the wrecked ship, I wanted to finish exploring that. Uh, so we have a few things that we can do. I think last time we got the Mark II depth upgrade for the sea truck. I think it was the Mark II. It's not the last one. But it lets us go to like 600 something meters deep. Um, yeah. Hopefully I'm not, hopefully my face is not too dark. I have the blinds open because the cats were looking at the, uh, Oh, right, 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 right. The cats were looking at the, uh, the outside. All right, so we have a dead feather fish that's rotten. What is this? Oh, yeah, reclaimed water. That's right. Pee in a bag. Delicious. Oh. <laughs> Still, let's drink it. Um... We have more of that. So let's just take a look at what we can make so far because, right, 650, that's our depth. Um, Because I was thinking about this more, like polyaniline, polyaniline, young cotton anemone, I don't, I mean, we're getting to the point where we can make that. I think that might be in that orange, like the deep lily pad area. It's probably down there. Uh, I mean, ion cubes. We haven't found any of those teleporters yet, but I, I don't want to just willy-nilly use my ion cubes just yet. Um, the spicy fruit salad, that's going to be probably the best thing. It's probably going to be uh, kind of the equivalent of the large filtered water, but for food and heat, right? So we are going to have to make the cold suit at some point. I don't know where we're going to get the snow stalker for probably... If I had to guess, probably not for a while. I don't think we're going to be able to kill the snow stalkers to get that. I don't know how... I don't know what we're going to need. The thumper. No magnetite, so who knows? Snow Fox, also no Magnetite, so we can't make that yet. Um, maybe, maybe the Prawn, but I feel like we're probably not going to really take that on land. I assume we're going to need it. I assume we're going to need to eventually go super deep, presumably. I don't know if we're going to need to make a land base eventually. That might be the case, probably once we get the Cold Suit. I feel like it's going to be cold suit first, then land exploration, but I also have a sneaking suspicion we're going to have to go onto land for a bit to get the snow stalker for first. So there's going to be some element of risk. Um, we have a couple, I'm just trying to summarize, not for you guys, I mean partially for you guys, but also partially for myself. We have this body cachet, which Right now, I don't know how to get to. Um, that's made a, There's an area below that that we might be able to go to now. Now we can go deeper. The greenhouse... Yeah, I mean, we've been there. There is... Phi Robotics. That's probably, honestly, that's probably our next stop is uh, with the pengling, the spy pengling, use the, because uh, that's where the story is telling us to go, right? It's like, oh, you know, search for your sister, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so my suspicion is we're probably going to have to use the pengling to search those little, those little burrows, and we'll just have to make probably a bunch of these fruit salads and then every 45 seconds or so have to jump out or maybe we'll listen when we're controlling the pengling and it'll we'll hear like hypothermia imminent and that's when we back out and eat one of these things because it should heat us up all the way 
Um, so right now let's explore this, I suppose. Oh, good, we get more, more water. That's actually fairly often. All right, where, what have we opened in here? There is, there's down here, which appears to be nothing so far. I'm curious if there's more of these fragments. You know? More of those, um... That was... Kind of scary to hear. But I don't... Again, I don't know what it is. I don't know what that sound... I don't know what the creature is. It could be... A crypto... Sulcus. It could be one of the claw shrimps. It is unknown to me at this time. All right, we have a sealed door. Pull open Mr. Laser Cutter. Try and drink some coffee while I'm doing this. Hmm. Side. You know what? Let's actually pull out the mineral detector. Oh, I don't know why I put it away, but... Oh. Ah! Metal salvage, I mean, obviously... And there's Jack. So Manny was just over here, now Jack's over here. But Manny didn't want to get in my lap. Technically Jack's not going to want to either. I don't know where this fragment is going to be. It looks like it's going to be through the wall. Um, you know your dad's trying to do something right now, Jack. I don't know if you know this. You probably do, that's why you're up here. Because you know I'm going to pet you and maul your face. Right? Um, yeah, I, I can't see, Jack. I can't see when you walk in front of the monitor like that. I'm... Oh. Oh, you. Listen, I love you. Even though your butt's hairy, Jack, I love you. That doesn't... <laughs> Whatever. Call me a crazy cat dad all you want. I don't care. I don't care, Jack, because I have your love to get me through the harshest of... I was going to say compliments. That doesn't work. Harshest of words. It's not criticism, really. It's just insults, I suppose. Is it? Do not. Do not try and get up on the keyboard. Do, do not. Do not. I love you. Okay. I love you. But here, let's... Oh, you... Oh, you silly. You are so silly. Here, go... Go... Squirming, and... How about you go that way? Go right over there. Go over there. Or I will taunt you a second time. You can get in my lap, you weirdo. But he doesn't want to. He wants to get up in the way, get pet. And then go somewhere else. What does it want me to scan here? Am I, am I blind? Did I miss something? I mean, it's possible I missed something. That's, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hello? No, 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 no. That's a window or something. Uh, it looks like there's stairs over there. So... I don't... Am I, am I stuck in here now? Almost. Okay. Well... I mean, we looked, right? Was there anything else? Oh, that's interesting. Kind of, kind of shows the inside a little bit. I'm gonna go this way just for a second. This area should be safe ish. Okay, this thing's actually bigger than it looks. 
But I already... I mean, I thought I already checked this area, right? Did I... Did I, did I miss a hole or something over here? Yep, about 60 seconds left. Okay, let's head back. I don't think I missed a hole. I don't see a hole. Alright, back into the sea truck. You know, the other thing is, it has... I guess those aren't mirrors. I guess those are the actual... Like... Things... They, they look like mirrors, but they're they're not. All right. Uh, so yeah, the fragment thing, uh, I don't know. We'll equip the laser cutter again for the time being. All right, through up here and this way. That's handy, that's good timing, I suppose. Right, so this seems to be a fairly large area. They're giving you these little... These little things. I think that's another laser cutter door over there. Maybe a couple. I wonder how many we're going to have to cut in this area. What is... Oh, is this your alien containment? A bit weird that it's on a spaceship, but... You know, we'll, we'll take it. Oh, good. More, more ways to suffocate in. Mercury 2, PDA, trusting my instincts. Instincts. What the... I don't know. Uh, let's see, oxygen plant. Huh. A random... Random hole in the ceiling? Very weird. Alright, well let's... I mean, do we want to go up? What do we want to do here? Okay, these stairs do not really go anywhere. I mean, they kind of do. Jesus, this is this is big. This is a big area, and where? All right, well, let's start right here because it looks like. Looks like this is a dead end, so we'll start with that. That's that's good. And those roars and stuff in the background, I'm not entirely sure that's not just ambient noise, which is really annoying, because at least before, it was, you know, legit threats. Chinese potatoes. Well, they're old. Why are they old already? I mean, I know they're old, but... It would make sense, but they start old, I suppose. More potatoes. Very weird that you just have random supply crates full of potatoes, but, you know. Uh, oxygen might be essential. Grab you. Or I suppose we could just go back to the the thing. We're pretty close. Pretty close to the sea truck. We could just grab it. It's okay. There we go. Go back here. Take a little sip of pee real fast. You know, it's fine. Um, yeah. This is way bigger than I was thinking at first. Okay. This might be a, well, I was going to say this might be a beneficial area for the light stick, but it's fine. It'll be fine. Okay, so that door. Let's, let's go through here. We'll see where this goes. Another, aha. Yep. Wait, was that more pee? Man, I pee a lot. Or <laughs> it really seems like we're using the laser cutter a lot. I bet 
towards the end, we're probably not going to. All right, so there are more parallel processing unit fragments. That is understandable. Ooh, I'm getting cold also. Depleted reactor rods, so what do we do with that? Throw it away? Full reactor rod, okay. We could probably get there, well, maybe if we had a, you know, one of those things. We could, the uh, uh, gravity guns, I don't remember what it's called regularly now, the actual name of it. Propulsion cannon, there we go. Brain finally kicking in. We had a propulsion cannon, we could probably move that stuff out of the way, but it looks like we will just find a different entrance somewhere else. Another sealed door. Is this, so is this the only other, oh, well, there was, where was that other place? Not here. There was another shaft somewhere else. Right. Oh, and then there's this whole area back here. Where was that other shaft, though? We... I know we saw one somewhere. Now I'm losing my mind. I mean, more, more than usual, I suppose. Anything up here? I feel like with all this hidden... Probably not. All right, so depleted reactor rod, nuclear waste, two of them. That's strange, I thought we picked up a regular full rod. I th I, more specifically, I thought we picked up two full rods. I guess not. Uh, let's eat the potato, it's decomposing. Oh well. Free up some space, that way once we get more pee, we can drink that. Gotta say, the still suit it's getting its uses in, right? Okay, where... It wasn't here, I don't believe. This was... Nothing. I mean, technically, that's a, a window to another... Another world. Maybe I'm losing my mind. I thought I saw one. And with all the use that this flashlight's getting, I figure maybe... Maybe we do need to make an ion battery. But maybe not yet. Maybe... Maybe not yet. Hmm. What about here on the bottom? Yeah, there it is. Okay, let's go here. Let's hit up the oxygen plant first, though. All right. And then we'll save the that other sealed door for last. Oh, I... Wait. Oh, this is open. I thought that was... This was another window. All right, well, we have ribbon plants bunch of other stuff in here. Another one of these. I'm I'm going to scan it just partially to get it out of the way. And right. So if you find this, you're Oh, so there is a way outside potentially. What is over here? Is this another yeah, okay. Man, this just keeps on going. What is down here? More oxygen. Almost looks like another way. Like something that goes deeper, right? Do we... 
Man, I don't know if I want to go down here. Then again, it just just looks like there's just uh like what is down here? Well, this is where we are. Okay. So what's the point of coming down here aside from metal? Oh, there's well, okay. Copper ore, we'll take it. Is that it? Hmm. What about over here? Is this another hole just down just down to here? Titanium ore. I will come back. I'm full of stuff. Quartz. Let's make sure I know how to get out of here now. That's kind of important. That was not where I came from, right? I believe I came from this way. And over here, I think... Right, yeah, okay, I scanned that. I came through here. This area just keeps going, man. This area just keeps going. Is that another sealed door, or is that one just, like, borked? Ah, oh, it's borked, okay. So is there any reason to come up here? Looks like a no. We're down below 25% of this battery. Well... If you need battery stuff, this is the place to come, I suppose. Newt fish. Newt, newt. Mother trucker. And another hole in the ceiling. I don't know if we want to... Let's, let's head back, actually, because I'm... A little bit more unnerved about all this stuff. But before... Oh, go through... I don't... We didn't know... We didn't need to go through the window, I suppose, but, you know. Alright. Uh, before we do, I would like to... Let's see. This one is sealed. Let's cut this one open. Peek our head in. See what's going on. Then, out. Oh, more water. Yeah, yeah. I feel kind of sad I had to close the, uh... The, the sliding glass door because the kitties the kitties were enjoying it but it was getting humid and also it's loud man this area just keeps on going does it go outside where's my truck oh how did I miss that well, I guess the same way I missed everything else. Yeah, see, look at how big this area is. I mean, all things can, you know. Because we were in that little the area that went down before. Alright. Drink that. Drink that too. Why not drink some coffee for myself? We do have two batteries still, and now we have five things of space, so we could still... Still technically have plenty of time. What blueprint did I pick up? Oh, yeah, yeah. Alien containment. Provi ah, provides optimal conditions for flora and fauna. Add a hatch to enter. Well, we have found eggs, you know. We found a couple. Alright, well. Alright, well. Take you... Man, this area is big. Let's just go this way, I guess, first. Or, not not that way, specifically. This way. Let's check this area out. 
Yeah, the light from this thing is okay. And that looks like something. The door is open very suspiciously. It's very suspicious. It's a trap! It might be. I have no idea. I mean, look, that fish is hiding behind it. That's clearly... Oh, right. So this is the bridge. They talked about the hidden space on the bridge or something, right? With glowing mushrooms and all that stuff. Right, right. So this is kind of the real area where you, you find the, the back half is sort of the other thing. Emergency takeoff. The, felt this all went sideways. Let's pause that for now. That's the wrong thing. I want to scan this. I just wanted to see how much space we have, and I, I do want the titanium, at least for now. All right. Uh, what else is in here? There's a couple oxygen plants. Another little rocket gaming subnautica stimulus. Definitely won't be playing that. Um, at least not on, not on this playthrough. Might do it on my own. Um, right, there's that. Do we want to go in there? I mean, yes, but do we want to go in there now? That should be all right. We could, we could peek. Just take a peek. Just a, just a small peek. Why are all those Jeffrey's tubes weird? Oh, that's where this goes. I see. Okay. I'm getting a little more familiar, more familiar with this place. Cool. Water and food. Strange that they... I don't, I don't know if we have space for both. That'll be all right. Let's head back now. Now we can head back, because we basically know where we're... know what the deal is. And it's gonna... Oh yeah, my battery's gonna die. There we go. R. Yeah, we don't... don't really need it at this point. We kind of... kind of are familiar. What was the deal with this? What was it telling us was here? Because I don't see anything. Is there something outside? Or is it some other little hidey hole or... I mean, I don't see anything outside. Okay, well, let's head back, back to the base. Um, we left, we left a marker somewhere here, right? Yeah, Mercury 2 bow. Okay. Well, back to ham base alpha then, at least for now. Man, it's almost been half an hour already. That's kind of crazy. There's one of those sharks. Watch out for the sharks. It really, it's interesting too, uh, the driving the sea truck, it really does feel like driving a truck, but underwater. You know, the sea moth feels way better. Sea moth feels way better to drive. What is that? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Silver. That eh, might be worth it. Beep. 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 You gotta, you know, put it in reverse. Silver ore. Yay. Glow whale. Freaky. So far, I like the game. I... I 
The only thing that I would say is actually better about it are the graphics. Um, which kind of makes me feel bad a little bit. Oh, I think we have to, we're gonna have to go around. Because I want to like the game. And I, well, let me rephrase that. I do like it. I do like it. Is it as good as the first one? No. Uh, which is sad, actually. It, the story, like, I'm, I'm still, like, I'm still trying to figure out where, where it's going, where it's supposed to go, like, what the, you know, because inventory full, free some space to pick up reclaimed water, um, do I do that now? Like, if I drink one of these, will it give me the the water? There it is. There you go. All right. Um, like the first one, the exploration. Oh, did we get hit? Yep. Because I, I wasn't touching the mouse and my cursor moved. I was like, like we turned. So I was like, oh, yeah, okay, we got, we got whacked there. And in the first one, they don't, it's not like a clang or anything, but you hear, you hear the creature's bite. Welcome aboard, Captain. You hear like the bone shark hit you. So there's, there's that, uh, and then we'll exchange you, drop off. Oh yeah, we're full of titanium, huh? Uh, we'll make an ingot. Uh, boom. It's like the exploration was, the exploration was basically in line with, do we want to make copper wire? Why not? Let's make some copper wire. Uh, in line with the story, essentially, because... You know, you're exploring, you're trying to figure out where to go. And that... Oh, I'm still... Five. Throw another titanium ingot in there. You're trying to figure out where to go as well. And so it, it makes sense here. It kind of... Like, on paper, it makes sense a little bit because it's like, oh, we have to solve the mystery. And so part of exploring is, you know, figuring out what the deal is. But it doesn't... It doesn't mesh. You know, it's like... It's like, yeah, we, we do have to figure out where to go, but it's not... It's not the same. I don't know. I don't know. It just feels... Let's eat that rotting feather fish. Kind of tickles the back of the throat. I don't know, I'm probably not explaining it well, but it's... There you go. Bam. And then we have to switch out the batteries. And what else do we want to... What else needs? Boom. All right. Charge away. And then I think we should probably go back to the the ship. Oh yeah, we have the um the things, right? We have the uh the PDAs. We have the PDAs. Let's check those out. I don't know. It, it, just overall the story so far feels disjointed and like if you're trying to make a st story heavy game you really need good characters and it's like the best character in this is Maida and she's from the first game and that's a problem when the best character in the game is not from that game that's a problem uh you know the PDA in the first game was a character way better than this one and what's sad is the PDA in the first game is a way better character than any of the characters even in this game. 
debatably even better than Meta, and that's that's a strong statement. Uh, but if you can debate it, that's an issue. It's like like Microsoft Word Clippy, the little paper clip. That's your PDA's AI, basically. If that thing is more interesting than characters in your story, in your story-heavy heavy game, that's a problem. That's a problem. And that's kind of where we're at. Like I said, I'm still having fun. It's neat seeing all the different biomes, but I just... Eh. Everything feels really disjointed and unfocused and scatter... scatterbrained. You know, because the original was... The original was scattered. You know, you had to go to everywhere. You had to find stuff, right? But... But in this, it's like, go here. Why? Oh, so you can go over here. Oh, why? So you can go over here. Why? Right, like, the story so far led us to that robotics lab, which we already found... Just because. Right, it's like we've found everything... Like, all that stuff is... Like, all the story basically getting you from point... A to point D or whatever is like what is the story of that oh hey I'm looking for Sam do you know Sam yes but do all these things before I tell you okay now go to this place okay like that was basically what she said I okay so the story about them bombing the the whatever maybe so but yeah all right let's listen to this emergency takeoff Diana Orion's belt this all went sideways how could I have known that so much would go wrong? I failed my crew. No, I don't fail. I didn't get into this position by being a failure. It's this desolate land, frigid and cursed. Between these tunneling creatures and the strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing symptoms of, we have to leave at first light tomorrow. We are prepping for a rapid takeoff. We can't take chances with the vibrations drawing the tunnelers, so we're skipping the systems check. Risky, but I have faith in myself and the crew of the Mercury. Landing this thing was practically a miracle, though. But we have to get out of here. Maybe the weapon is to keep people away, but if we leave, it'll let us go. I have to leave the quarantined crew in the cave behind. We will be back for them. But we can't risk an unknown infection spreading through the mercury. We're packing survival kits for them, but there's only enough surplus for about two weeks. I'm telling them that we will come back. But I don't think I can land here safely. Twice. I hate this. But I have to leave them behind. I can't risk the entirety of the mercury. Maybe this is my cynicism talking, right? But, okay, so the captain is a woman, right? Progressive devs, very progressive. I actually don't have a problem with that. <sighs> but when they're like, I don't fail. I didn't get this position by being a failure. It's this desolate land, frigid and cursed. It's like, it's kind of the stereotypical woman thing to blame others and not take responsibility right it's like even when they try and be progressive they can't help their own internal biases i mean look it's all these progressive people all these people that are championing uh women's rights and stuff like that and the, the ones that keep shrieking about uh you know anything a man can do a woman can do better all that stuff it's because deep down they really believe that women are inferior that's why they're so strung out on, uh, you know, standing up for these people. It's like, am I going to go up to, you know, prime, prime youth uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and be like, no, 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 let me lift that for you. You know, anything a man can do, Arnold can do better. No, because I know he's capable. I don't need to stand up for him. I don't need to offer to lift anything for him because he's Mr. Universe or whatever it was. Right? 
Plus, it would be insulting if I know that he's capable to insist that he be helped. So it's just... It's... Uh, anyway, that's why Ripley was such a great uh, protagonist in Aliens. It's like she wasn't afraid of, of showing weakness. You know, she was real. She was a real person. Anyway, um, also the story, basically they got shot down by the gun and then something happened. So, I mean, it doesn't make sense that this area is the Kara is here, but there's no emperor. There's no sea emperor here. The whole point of the original game was it was a crater and the peepers they didn't train the peepers but the peepers were smart enough to figure out that hey we can use these tubes to get to the sea emperor get the thing and go back and then the peepers actually kept the you know everything alive despite the fact that the aliens basically left the sea emperor to die they're like oh we failed abort abort abandon everything Right? Um, and then the whole dead zone around the crater. Everything else on the planet is dead. I don't, I don't know. It, it's just a little... Unless they... I mean, I, I had thought originally it was going to be like, well, you know, it's too cold. The, the bacteria couldn't survive out here in the water or, or something. So, you know, the Arctic area is safe. That would make sense. But then it's like, no, 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 there's infection here. Plus Maida getting here. It's like, how did she survive when there's no clue or something? Or no, um, no cure. Not clue. Anyway, also, it's basically they crash landed and then took off and got shot down again? Or they skipped the safety checks and exploded? It's very odd. I, I don't know. My instincts are never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks. Which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? <laughs> Orion's belt, I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. There should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Once sees Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more soul transgov credits in their uniform pockets. They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. So she's supposed to be... She's supposed to be like the equivalent of Paul Torgal? I don't know. The... Aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet. That's... That doesn't make sense either, because Paul was like, Oh, there's tons of mineral resources here. I was right. But how do you... I mean... How do you... Okay, so... Scanning, I assume they have to be in orbit. And I assume that's when the gun shoots him down. That's what happened in with the Aurora. The Aurora was uh, scanning for the Degasi. And then presumably that's when they got shot down. Or right after that, because they didn't leave. They weren't like, they were planning to sort of sweep it under the rug. Oh, oh yeah, we scanned for him. We scanned for him, we're, you know, but... 
oh, even though we found something, we didn't, we didn't find anything. Time to go. And then, boom, they get shot down, right? So, so how do they scan for it? Also, how do they not find that the majority of the planet is dead? Right? Oh, there's so much biodiversity on this planet, except for the fact that everything's dead. Except for these two spots. And no and no mineral resources, which it's just so weird. It's like they don't it's like they don't remember their own game. I mean I know it happens. Alien containment. Despite huge Altera-led advances in stellar technology, exploring new worlds still has its challenges, and alien life forms are one of them. That's why we built the alien containment unit. Unit is spe designed spe ah, designed primarily to breed larger or more dangerous species. Technical provisions. Units must be, units must be installed in multi-purpose room modules. Units may be connected between rooms stacked in a column. A hatch must be installed in order to access the unit. The base of the unit is a planter, allowing sea flora to be grown from seed. Breeding tips. Provided sufficient time and living space, organisms of the same species should mate and reproduce. Eggs inside the unit will hatch over time. Organisms raised from birth, raised from birth in captivity often exhibit unusually passive behavior. Yeah, the mating thing is weird because they're supposed to all be asexual and lay eggs. But I think that was a problem with the first one as well. They sort of forgot about that. Um, but yeah, the smaller fish, you could put like two... You know, if you wanted a bunch of bladder fish, you put two bladder fish in the thing, and then over time they'll reproduce. The bigger ones, I don't think will. The things that actually require the eggs will not. Um... And they're only passive while they're in the tank. If you take them out and let them go, they uh, they get full size and then they start attacking you. Environment, environmental controls may fail if the unit is overpopulated. Infections may be transmitted faster between specimens in artificial environments. Never tap the glass. You don't know what will tap back or how hard. It would be interesting if the rock puncher, which is modeled after the uh, mantis shrimp, would actually like break it. Or break out or something. It'd be it'd be interesting because supposedly you have to have special tanks for actual mantis mantis shrimp. Um. Yeah. Anyway. I don't know. I mean, I I know I complain a lot, but it's about that whole thing. It's like lots of diamond ruby. Throw some in the ruby, I guess too. I mean, I know Paul was... said something like that as well, like, my instincts are never wrong, or whatever, it's like, yeah, okay, but... I mean, it's not about the... it's not about the instincts. Because that was... he was like, hey, we got shot down, and, you know... I, whatever, you know, it's... <laughs> All right, let's, um, what do we want? Scrub nuts? Sh shrub nuts? And we'll get another one. Bam. All right, we're full. We are full. Um, 50 minutes. Do we want to go back there? Was that all the... We only picked up two? I guess so. Let's go back there. How much space do we have? We have a decent amount of space still. Not really much in the way of food. Oh, I mean, I guess those are food, technically. Yeah, we could eat those. Eat those if we need. I just find it funny, the whole... Oh, we got out of there without triggering the thing again. I just find it funny that they're... You know, they want to be progressive, and yet... They write stuff that you could be like... You know, oh, that's a female stereotype. Like an un like an unflattering one, not even a... Not, e not even a good one, right? Not the stereotype that, like, oh, women are nurturers and stuff like that. It's like... 
you know, you write a a woman that's hysterical, and I, maybe that's maybe that's the whole problem with politics poisoning everything, or more specifically, the agenda pushing poisoning everything. Because there's nothing wrong with having a um, you know a character act in certain ways or even stereotypical ways. There's nothing wrong with that. But I don't know. It just to me it sticks out when the you know the devs come out and they're like oh we didn't want to put any weapons in this game because of the, the whatever school is shooting and we didn't want to do this because we believe in women are underrepresented and blah 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 and they do this stuff and then it's like oh but you made a woman character that doesn't take responsibility or a woman that's hysterical or whatever it's like I don't know. I mean, you can't win. You just can't. And I have nothing wrong, or I have nothing against putting politics in the games. That's totally fine. I actually, if, if they make a good story, I'm super into that. Please. Please do. But you can't... Really? Are you coming at me? Oh, that's going after someone else. But I don't know, you, you have to make a good story. You have to. Also, that's pretty smart. You put the prawn suit there, you're like, oh, the prawn, and then you're like, oh, I can get in right there. Where was this other door? Oh, right there. Oh, interesting. Well, we'll go the way that we know. We are almost out of time. Man, these hours go by. That's part of the reason why I think the game is is good. Well, why I'm enjoying it. I'm not I don't know if I could say that it's good. It's I'm having fun. Oh, and that's the other thing. It's like the doors don't stand out. You're drawn here because you see the recess and you see like what it almost appears to be a hidden passage. And I my eyes are drawn to this, not to the actual entranceways, which is, um, that's kind of what I mean, like about everything in this game just being a little bit off, right? And, and the weird thing is, I've been in there, I know where the entrances are, but I still head towards this as if it's the entrance. I don't know. Let's, uh, we'll save real fast. We'll make a run for whatever. All right. Um, okay. Grab you. Do we go this way? Did we not go in here? Oh, I guess not. Counting the Mercury Crash. Yep. It's weird, because I... Oh, yeah. And the tun the tunnelers, right? Oh, yeah, we can make a, a thing, but... Oh, I guess we didn't go this way. Or we did, but a different direction? I don't, I don't know. Lots of reactor rods. Oh, depleted. So they're... They still glow even if they're depleted. That's... That's what it was. And there's another hole. Mm, okay. Strange that it's just so difficult to see the actual holes. But I guess that makes sense. I mean... You're looking for a big... Can I go into here? No. Ah, but you can see that. So you're like, oh, that's where I need to go. Alright, well, now we know it's... What's this way, I suppose? Oh, is that where we went up the first time? 
Right, 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 right. Okay. Let's see if we can find an oxygen plant. Wiring kit, cool. I'll take it. Power cell, handy. Uh, I guess that's all for this way. Let's head back to the sea truck for the moment. I don't know. I I really do think. Um. I think the agenda pushing has really, really poisoned everything. And it's not even, to be fair, it's not even that. It's not even the fact that people are pushing agendas. It's that they, they're like, they're like, I believe this. And then you're like, no, you're full of crap. And they're like, you can't say that I'm oppressed. And they immediately want to shut down any You know, ironically, the people claiming that they're silenced are the ones silencing others. And it's like, we need to be able to talk about this stuff. Otherwise, this shit just festers. Which is what's happening with society today. All right, so we've been here. I think this is everything. Maybe we didn't go through here, though. Did we go through here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, this is where the... Well, I mean, we have planet titanium. I don't think we need that ore. We, we will, I guarantee we will, but we don't need it right now. And I don't want to fill up my... Inventory. Man, this area keeps getting bigger and bigger. What's this? What is this? Reinforced dive suit fragment. So we do need the dive suit. Another battery. Another PDA. I miss my family, Elliot. See, ironically... I actually Oh, come on, really? I thought I I thought that was glass. I didn't realize you could go through there. I see I thought this was a window because I saw that, right? And it is a window. But the bottom Oh, you wow. All right, well, now we know. Now we know. This area would get you totally... Oh, these are bunks. They also mentioned a cave. It's a cave where they left the, the quarantined people. All that I can think about is, is it's the quarantine or uh, the cave below, but I mean it wouldn't make sense to have that be where it is. And this door is closed. And we've been up here, right? This goes back to the bridge. Ooh, that was weird. Weird loading. Anything else that we missed? We've probably missed something, but we got the reinforced dive suit, so that's cool. Which means it's gonna be hot again, I guess. Back this way. So how many of those... No, there were three of those things, right? So if you did come here you'd be good. Yeah, and for what it's worth, I'm actually, oh man, we're over an hour. Guess we'll have to stop. Or almost, almost over an hour. We're like right at the mark. 
I lost almost lost track of time again. I'm like, you know, I mean, it's good. Shows how much fun I'm having. Um, yeah, it's it's weird. It's like I don't really care about Sam and Robin and all that stuff. I'm actually more interested in like what happened with the ship. You know, because again, it's we are both survivors, kind of. Uh, but we'll stop here. That is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying this stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if you know, anything that I said, if you disagree with any of it, if you agree with any of it, leave a comment. I'm totally fine with that. Tell me I'm wrong. I don't mind. I actually want to be... I'm fine with being wrong because it means that I can be told that I'm right. It means I can be right. If I find out that I'm wrong about something... It means I can be right. Um, most people, and why I generally don't discuss or debate or anything with regular people, is because they don't care about whether they're right or not. They just want to win, right? They look at you as an opponent, and they want to win. doesn't matter if they're right. They want to win. So, um, yeah, if I'm wrong, tell me. I mean, I might be right, though. I might be right, but either way, I'm interested in your guys' opinions. Um, strange, it seems like a lot of comments that I receive, like I get the little notification and then I don't actually find the comment on the video, so I don't know if YouTube's deleting them or what, but uh, if you notice your comments being deleted, leave it again, please. Seriously, I want to I wanna read them. I want to respond. Um, I just see part of them a lot of the time with the notifications. It's not even... If it's a little short thing, yeah, I get the whole thing. And maybe people are deleting their own comments. That's also a possibility. Um, but, uh, but yeah. So, like I said, guys, thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? Uh, for me, it's the fact that I... Well, I went and I picked up that... Uh, the sedative from Manny, so he doesn't bite the veterinarians as much when he goes to the vet, I guess. Uh, that's... <laughs> and I got a little tip. I guess you put it... You don't have to open his mouth and squirt it, like, in there specifically. You can just kind of put it in between the cheek and the for liquids anyway for liquids uh in between the cheek and the teeth that way you don't have to like try and pry his mouth open you just kind of shove it in there and just squirt a little bit and he'll he'll drink it so that's uh that's a unique positive moment that's mine hopefully your guys are just as good if not better hopefully better of course and i hope to see you guys next time till then guys take care <laughs>